Hey everybody, it's a little gamer. Welcome everyone back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue Version. In the last episode, we pretty much went up against Giovanni's gym, and in this episode, we shall go up against Giovanni himself. Okay, so level 38, 38, 34, 35, uh, 36, and 35. Not bad. Everybody's generally almost level 40, which is pretty good. Uh, but I'm planning on doing the rare candy glitch and the master ball glitch. Uh, so I can basically just mediate my team's levels and pretty much just take care of it that way instead of just leveling up all the time. So, because, you know, I'm a man with priorities and it would just be a lot easier for me to just do the leveling methods. <clears throat> of not do the leveling methods, rather. So we're gonna, uh, take care of this guy over here. The Karate King, apparently that's his name. Karate King. Oh no, he's just a black belt. Great, I'm a choke. Wonderful. Okay, let's see here. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna switch him out with Mew. Why not? Low kick. Nope. Psychic. Yup. Goodbye, Machoke. Alright, I think the match has been decided here. And one more psychic for the win. Alright, so Mew grew to level 36. Gotta love it. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Alright, so we'll just go back around and down. And this should give us full access to Giovanni, if I'm not mistaken. And walk around this guy, and there he is, Giovanni. Uh, definitely saving for this. <clears throat> and without a further to do, just check my Pokemon real quick. I think we're gonna be fine, so let's just go on ahead and do this. Fwahaha! This is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But, you have caught me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Oh jeez. Well, here we go, Giovanni, final gym leader. Rhyhorn. His Pokémon are initially going to be beastly, so be very, very careful. Fury attack and his attack miss. That is shameful. Rhyhorn is gone. There is no way he can survive a solar beam to the face. <clears throat> Vesaur grew to level 39. Awesome. Dugtrio? Hmm. Vesaur will have trouble with Dugtrio because Dugtrio is faster and will pretty much cover, uh, or defeat, uh, Venusaur, so means how it's a poison type, so. I believe our best bet here would be Lapras. <clears throat> it's probably going to do Dig first, so we'll just hold out. Or not. Wasn't predicting that. A guard special. Oh well. Down goes Dug Trio. Alright, Lapras grew to level 35. Nido Queen, Nido Queens are ground, but I'll go ahead and use my Mew for this. Maybe because I think Mew will disintegrate Nido Queen. Or not. 
Okay, um, or you could just put items on all of your Pokemon, that's fine too. Alright. Nido King. Nope, not switching. Nido King, you have to be very careful with these Pokemon, they're very good. Why, Giovanni? You're making this too easy! Guard special. I don't believe that. How cheap. Alright, level 37 Mew. Ride on. Here's the big boy you gotta worry about. Uh... You know what, Lapras? Why don't you finish him off? Ride on. Ride on has a credit of being the first Pokemon ever made, so it's very fitting that he uses him last, in my opinion. Blizzard! No! Damn it! Come on! Do it, Lapras! Thank you! Ooh. Oh! It goes down, and that's the last gym leader. Woo! One shotted! That was amazing. Woo! Alright, so we got the Earth Badge, and that is pretty much the conquest of all the gems. Alright, TM27 is Fissure. It will take Pokemon out with just one hit. So basically what it is, it's a one hit KO move. And it's generally good for ground-type uh, Pokémon. However, uh, it has an extremely low accuracy rate, so I would not recommend using it. It's sort of like Guillotine. Uh, it's just not really worth it. And there's another one too that that's pretty much a one-hit KO move. I forgot what it was, but um, Horn Drill. So yeah, you have Fissure, Horn Drill, and Guillotine. Which, are pre which pretty much serve as your one-hit KO moves. They're just not worth using, in my honest opinion. <clears throat> I mean, if you're feeling really lucky, I guess, then go for it, but uh, I don't really do too well with those types of moves. Alright, so we're gonna heal up and we're gonna do some glitches. Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited for this? I bet you are. I know I am. Alright. So, if I remember correctly, you have to have the item of your choice in the sixth slot. So, we're gonna deposit Dodrio and withdraw the Firo again. <clears throat> okay. Then we're gonna go and get the Master Ball. The Master Ball. Here you are. Alright, so we already have a rare candy on us. Alright, here we go. So, rare candy. And we shall count off from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it was the sixth or seventh slot, I, f I forgot. But basically what it does, it's kind of complicated to explain, but for now, I'm going to save my game. <clears throat> you always want to do this, and I shall stop recording for a bit, uh, basically to just fiddle around and make sure that I just have this recording down pat, so I will see you in a bit. Hey everybody, it's a loyal gamer welcoming everyone back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue Version! In the last episode, we pretty much went ahead and defeated the last gym leader, and in this episode, is pretty much the episode you've all been waiting for. Uh, <clears throat> basically, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and use this glitch to our fullest advantage, and I cannot wait. Whew! Alright, so, I gotta deposit some crap first, so... Uh, I am re-recording this, I'm actually re-re-recording this, because I had a few takes on this run, and the first take, my microphone completely messed up, all the footage was unusable, 
and I did a lot of stuff after the glitch. The second time through, I did it with my microphone, but I kind of did it incorrectly. I'm in the wrong PC as I'm saying this. But I kind of did stuff incorrectly, you know, and my commentary sort of suffered from that. So I want to make sure that these episodes are pretty much the best of my potential. And <clears throat> I'm not going to need the secret key anymore. Uh, TM27 we might need. Won't need metronome. So we are doing this all over again. Let's see, escape rope. Red candy, we'll definitely want. Withdraw. Uh, ooh. Oh, we already have two there. Master Ball is what we want. Withdrew Master Ball. We are pretty much going to duplicate these items. Uh, let's see. Bill. Let us go to Bill's PC. Withdraw. No. Yes, yes, I know this, I know this. Uh, okay, so, Dodrio, we don't need you. Not for now, anyway. We need... Uh, where are you? Firo! Yes, we need the Firo. Alright, so now that we have that done, all we need to do is just go up here to this old man. You guys <laughs> remember from earlier on, he's basically the guy who taught you how to catch Pokemon. And this is a very simple glitch to pull off. Basically what it does, this guy had his coffee and he basically gives you tons of candy in return for his coffee. So no, we are not in a hurry, we want you to give us lots of candy and balls. Because that's what really matters in a kid's life. When you catch a Pokemon, Pokedex is blah 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 and we already know- oh my Jesus. We already know all of this. <clears throat> Come on, I want my candy! I want my goddamn candy! Uh, and all we got was a Weedle. Oh, see, he's got balls. He's got tons of balls. Look at him. 50 of that shit? Well, guess what? We're gonna get 99 Master Balls, man. Alright, so, now that we got that done, we are going to use Firo the Fly. Whoops. There we go, to Cinnabar Island. And once we got that done, and everybody knows this trick, but some of you might not know, uh, all you do is get a Pokemon that knows Surf, and just keep surfing up and down this coast. And basically what this does is that it triggers, uh, I believe it's save code. Oh dear, uh, Tangela. Level 32 Tangela. Uh, not exactly what I had wanted, but... It's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so basically what I totally forgot to do is basically you have to take the selected item that you want and put it in the six slots. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Bam! Alright, so you put the rare candy right there. <clears throat> and don't worry, sometimes a random Pokemon will pop up. So, you just gotta look out for that. But basically what we're doing is we're accessing uh, some code that was basically trashed upon production of this game. And uh, through accessing that code, we can glitch uh, and duplicate some items. And access some glitch Pokemon if you like. I think with that Tangela, we could have caught it and it would have been like really legit. Okay, seriously. Like... I don't want Tentacool here. I want Missing No. And I know it'll work because of that Tangela. You don't find Tangela's in water. Okay. But Pidgeotto, we're getting a little closer there. We're getting a little closer, don't worry. But we need the Brick Pokemon. We need the infamous Missing No. Or M. M works too. There's like an M, comma, block of Pokemon that basically is the same, it's sort of the same thing. Not quite, but it has the same effect that we're looking for, so. Basically we have to go up and down and up and down and up and down and finally we can get these balls. Oh my god, no. Okay, third time around, this is probably the worst luck I've had getting this missing though. First two times worked perfectly. Perfect, here we go. 
This is a Wild M level zero. And basically what you do, you run away. You see one of these, you run your ass off. All right. And all you gotta do is go down here and you'll notice that there's a funny looking symbol uh, and a nine next to that symbol. So basically those rare candies are pretty much infinite now or damn near infinite. <clears throat> first two trial runs, I actually had to do this trick twice because I actually did run out of rare candies and I had to redo it again and then it gave me the infinite amount the second time. I don't know why that is, but uh, if that happens to you, just do the trick. Actually, no, just encounter a missing no again. Just as long as you're here and you don't fly away, you'll keep encountering missing no's on this coast. <clears throat> Alright, Master Ball. Time to get back out here. Alright, so, where are you? Oh, right here. Right in front of my face. Oh, I just came back from the gym, so my arms feel like jello. I can barely hold the controller. Hold. Alright, so, we need another M. Yes, we do have it. And here is another M, level zero. Now, you can capture a missing no or one of these M's, but what will happen is that it will jack up your save file and pretty much corrupt your entire game. So you don't want to capture them. However, you can capture a missing no, level it up, and turn it into a Kangaskhan. For some reason, missing no's have a tendency to turn or evolve into Kangaskhans, and once you evolve into a Kangaskhan, it's actually... it's actually good. It actually uh, fixes the glitch, I think. It's been forever since I've done that crap, but... Uh, <clears throat> you know me. I don't really like to do that. And so we have infinite master balls. Or damn near infinite. Uh, we'll just pop rare candies back here again. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to level up all these bad boys to level 55. And a lot of them are going to learn pretty beastly moves. And I think that will still make it fair, you know, because I don't want to like break the game. And, uh, I don't want to piss any of you guys off, even though I am using a glitch Pokemon, Mew, you know? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know, I don't really feel like I want to totally break this game, but level 55 will basically put me at the levels that I wanted to reach anyway, but basically without having to do the effort of level grinding, which I think will be, you know, a lot easier on my part, because I have a crazy schedule, and, you know, this would take me like five minutes to do so with that being said I shall do this off screen or <clears throat> yeah I shall do this off screen because to be honest this is probably gonna be really boring and yeah you're not gonna want to see it so until next time I will probably meet you guys at the power plant yes and we are going to capture the three legendary birds with the master balls so until next time this is a loyal gamer signing off and i will see you guys for the capturing of all three legendary bird pokemon later people blah